Hi guys, Roscoe here again, and here we have my Hot Toys Iron Man Mark V figure. Now, all this quite a while back. It's taken a while to get to me, but I finally got it. And uh, first impressions, uh, it's an absolutely awesome Iron Man figure. It's actually my favourite suit from the film. Um, so glad to finally have it, and it hasn't disappointed me at all in the figure form. So. Let's go take a look at the box. Right, it has a similar box to the rest of the Iron Man 2 series. It has the slip cover, holographic sort of metallic finish to the cover art. Uh, you got the inner box here, still flimsy, same as the others, which I don't like too much. But liking this suit the most, I really like the cover. Showing the battle damage version. The Mark V. Yeah, so you've got a number of different uh, trays and inserts similar to the Mark IV and VI. I'm not going to get into those, but we will go to the accessories. Alright, it comes with the clear stem, so you can have him, or pole, so you can have him flying on the stand. You've got the actual Mark V suit in the briefcase form, which is quite nice. Uh, you got the sort of other stand, diorama type stand, which comes with the Mark IV and the Mark IV Secret Project, so I've got a few of those now. Um, you got the battle damage pieces, the chest piece there. Uh, I'm not going to use that, I'm going to keep him factory fresh, so uh, I just got to be careful with this little part here. I think it looks a little bit flimsy there, so if you are pushing it on to his chest, I have to be careful. You don't break that. Uh, we got the sort of little chest piece there that goes under that. Uh, you got the handcuffs to go with the briefcase. You got your usual Hot Toys instruction sheet. You got the uh, clenched fists, uh, which stay as they are, and they're more plastic. You don't have sort of like the repulsive detail on these ones. Uh, you got the Battle damage version, where you can see the Tony Stark blue race suit underneath, which is quite cool. Now they're like a rubber, so you can't actually bend them into position, or so they just stay as they are. And you've got the battle damaged arm. Now this thing's absolutely amazing. You've got the same sort of hand there, the other side. This is all beaten up, the like this little cover protector here. Um, the amount of detail going on this is absolutely awesome all the dings and scratches and all the inner workings where it's been broken by whiplash yeah so I do have whiplash so I'll get him out of the box now and um, later on and pose him with this guy so there's all the inner workings here in the back of the arm the work just going to this arm is mind-boggling so it's really nice to have but as I said before we'll be keeping him um, in the clean sort of version now the suit uh, really love the mask on this the extra lines on it I'm not sure why I like this suit more than the Mark 4 and Mark 6 uh, I think it's just the coloring I just seem to like the silver with the red more and just the leaner design as well yeah, so it is a, they've seemed to have started it fresh, like there's no sort of parts being ripped off or reused from other releases from the other marks. I think it's been it's a completely new design or started fresh again. So there'll be more work going into it. Or well, they would have used probably the hands and maybe the shoes or feet again. Yeah, so overall, I really like the articulation with this. It's a bit better than some of the others. The head and the neck, you can move a lot more. I find that the head can look up and down a lot further. I've been able to get this arm uh, up further than the others because the others seem to have like a hinge or spring system to the um, shoulder pads which seem to push them down a bit more. So I'm being able to get closer to that repulsive fire sort of stance. Wish it still had an extra hinge in here or something or joint to make the hand go back a bit further like the Ape Sapien from Hellboy I have. But still step in the right direction which is good 
to the improvement. Um, people have been complaining a little bit about the colouring, it's not like chrome enough. Um, in different lights it does look like that, so I'm still quite happy with it. Um, thing is though, if you did do it all chrome you'd lose some detail, so if you look all into these little areas here, you've got actual parts that are more chrome. So if you had it all one colour, you'd just lose all that and you wouldn't be able to see it properly. So I understand why they might have done it in a more of a machined look colour, which looks pretty cool. So um, You don't really notice that this is a articulated figure at all, besides sort of in that pose I've got where you can see it's like a the ball joint there. But in the arms, it's concealed with the rubber sort of cover there, so no matter where you bend the arm, you're not going to see any joints. Same with the knees, when you get down, they're pretty well covered up, so even if you move the, or bend the legs, this section seems to cover up any gaps. It's more of a round suit, it's less angular, it's more, yeah, more shaped and curved, this one. As I said before, it's a more, lot more slimming suit, not as bulky and sort of maybe battle ready as the Mark 6 or Mark 4 I suppose, but still it's absolutely awesome. And you got the just the detail on the back as well. Looks awesome. That's probably as close as you're going to get to seeing any joints on the back of the knees. All these little tiny parts here. Or it looks like they're all individually put in, which is just the amount of little pieces and details and I don't know how they'd get around to making this. Or oh, so many of them as well. Even these little almost like metal parts. Almost like shoelace design sort of metal. Yeah, so it's definitely a must have for any Iron Man fan. If you love the Iron Man 2 movie, um, this is one of the highlights for me, seeing the suit come together from the briefcase. Another thing is uh, in the legs, in the other Mark 4 and 6, I think this part here you can twist back and forward and then you've got this part here which you can bend up and down. This is all one piece now. So you've lost one sort of point of articulation. Um, I think you can get any pose you want from this guy anyway. Uh, these parts don't come out at all. Yeah, so, so when you twist this whole leg that way and that way, the whole thing moves up in the hip. Whereas before, it'd just be able to move that and this part would move separately. Yes, yeah, so overall, an excellent figure. Alright guys, I'll leave you here with that. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be undoing my Superman figure now, which has just come in this morning, so uh, keep an eye out for that. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.